Let's get started. Um, the theme of today's class is going to be hips. Hips, don't worry, it's not gonna be like a 10-minute frog. Not gonna do that. But we are gonna focus on hips. Uh, and we're also gonna be talking about patience. So child's pose. Child's pose. Downward facing dog. Rag doll. Extended mountain. Hands to heart center. Three ohms. Extended mountain, fold, halfway lift, vinyasa high through low, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, fold, extended mountain, bow forward. Halfway lift, high through low, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Gaze forward, jump forward. Good, Danielle, halfway lift, bow, extended mountain. Exhale, fold, halfway lift, vinyasa high through low. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Jump forward, half lift, fold. Chair pose, three breaths. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three, fold. Halfway lift, good Natalie. Fold, halfway lift, vinyasa high through low. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward for warrior one. And for this warrior one, we are unsquaring our hips. Take your hands to your hips, look back at your left hip. Line your left hip up with your knee and your toes. And bring a slight bend to your left knee. Mm-hmm and lower your hips, lower your pelvis till you feel it in your right quad. When you feel it in your right quad, reach your arms up. Breathe in, look up. Vinyasa flow high through low. Be in the experience of a new sensation in your hips. 
downward facing dog warrior one left side unsquare your hips come out of your default hands to hips look line your hip bone feel your hip bone in line with your knee in line with your toes bend slightly in your right knee sit your hips low till you feel it in your left quad inhale reach up hands to the mat and you flow high to low upward facing dog downward facing dog breathe let it go one more breath in bend your knees look at the top of your mat jump good halfway lift fold forward chair pose sit your hips down reach your fingers up bow forward halfway lift vinyasa good alley upward facing dog downward facing dog warrior one right side unsquare your hips align your hip with your knee with your toes then bring your hips lower good inhale reach up look up good natalie plant your hands and flow high to low upward facing dog downward facing dog warrior one left side unsquare align hip knee toes drop your hips low reach your fingers up look up eyes up good meredith plant your hands and flow high push up low push up up dog down dog two breaths on empty jump your feet to your thumbs good alley half lift fold chair pose one breath sit low good danielle fold forward halfway lift vinyasa up dog down dog warrior one right side hips unsquared unsquared new experience of your hips and your front quad vinyasa good natalie high to low up dog down dog warrior one left side come out of the default unsquare align quad eyes up vinyasa flow high to low upward facing dog downward facing dog lift your right leg stack your hips flip your dog reach your right hand out now take your right hand to your left hip bone right hand to left hip bone press your left hip bone up into your right hand and breathe stay exhale inhale side plank right hand down take your left hand to your left hip bone and press your left hip bone up into your hand lift your top leg breathe in one breathe out one breathe in two breathe out two we're going for three breathe in three breathe out three downward facing dog good work everyone lift your left leg stack your hips flip your dog reach out through your left hand left hand to right hip bone press right hip bone up into your hand breathe in stay breathe out breathe in side plank left hand down right hand to right hip press your hip up into your hand lift your top leg breathe one more downward facing dog breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out 
Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge, hands to hips. Slight bend to your left knee. Lift the front of your pelvis. Feel it in your hands. Tilt your pelvis, lift it up. Drop your hips down. Good, Danielle. Breathe in. Stay, breathe out. Reach your arms up. Hands to center, twist right. Yeah, squeeze into center line. Lift your left hip bone up towards the ceiling. Press it up and through your back glute. Warrior two. Hands to hips. Point both hip bones towards the long side of your mat. Bend your knees to get there. Yeah, feel your hips. Lift the front of your pelvis. Good, Meredith. Extend your arms. Look at your right fingernail. Good, Allie. Good, Natalie. Reverse your warrior. Breathe. Extended side angle. Yeah, drop your hips more. Bend your knees. Lower your right quad to get there. Good. Breathe in. Vinyasa, breathe out. High through low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot forward, crescent lunge, hands to hips. New experience of your hip bones. Bend both of your knees, lift the front of your pelvis. Create space between your left quad and your left hip. Good, good Allie. Reach your arms up. Hands to center. Twist left. Good, Danielle. Yeah, press the back of your right thigh up towards the ceiling, and that will lift your right hip. Yeah, gravity wants to drop it down. Warrior two, hands to hips. Lift the front of your pelvis. Front knee tracks with front toes. Lower your hips. Good, Allie. Yes, good. Good, Natalie. Extend your arms. Look at your front fingernail. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. And drop your hips down. Now the more you bend into your front leg, the more access you have to your left inner groin. Inhale, vinyasa, exhale. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, let it go. Breathe in, breathe out, jump your feet to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, fold, chair pose, twist right. Drop your hips down. Fold forward. Halfway lift, fold, chair pose, twist left. And drop your hips. Good, Danielle. Yes, Meredith. Breathe in. Yes, Natalie, forward fold, breathe out. Take your feet hips width distance apart and uh, grab your big toes with your peace fingers. And hips width distance is about the width of your fists when you put them together. So two fists width. 
Good, Natalie. Good, Allie. Pull up on your toes. Press down on your fingers with your toes. And press your sits bones, the backside of your hip bones, up towards the ceiling. Good, Danielle. Good, Allie. Release your big toes, stand in your hands. Release and come into crow or forearm plank and we will be there for a count of five. One. Two. Three, four, five, flow, high to low. Good, Danielle, good, Meredith. Upward facing dog, breathe. Downward facing dog, ha, ah, yes, Natalie. Take a breath in, let it go. Inhale, exhale, jump, feet to thumbs. Halfway lift, fold. Extended mountain. Hands to hips. Eagle. Feel your hip bones. Lift the front of your pelvis. Hips even. Switch sides. Feel your hip bones under your fingers. Lift the front of your pelvis. Belly in, pelvis neutral. Switch sides, take full eagle. Your fullest expression, any variation with your arms for a five count, one. Two, three, four, switch sides. Neutral pelvis. One, two, three, four. Come to stand. Hands to hips. Standing leg raise. Keep your hands on your hip bones to feel your hips in one line, front plane, side plane. Lift your right knee into your chest and drop your right hip. Open your right knee out to the side. And notice, did your hip rise? Drop your hip down, right inner thigh in to center line. Good, Allie. Good, Meredith. Mm -hmm, Natalie. Come back to center. Kick your right foot forward, hands to your hips. Feel your hips, drop your right hip. Good, Ali. Yes, good, Ali. Yes, Meredith. Yes, Danielle. Keep your hands on your hips. Airplane. Hands on hips. Right hip drops down towards the mat. Good. Half moon. Right hand stays on right hip. Use your hand to stack your right hip up and back. Ever so slowly, bit by bit. Eyes up. Good, Danielle. Come up to standing. Hands on hips, standing leg raise, left knee into your chest. Hands right there on your hip bones, thumbs or fingers on your hip bones. Yeah, drop your left hip, mm -hmm. squeeze inner thighs in, open your left leg out. 
When you open out, press your left hip down and in more. Good, Danielle. Yes, Natalie. Come back to center, kick forward, hands on hip bones, feel your hips. Left hip in. Good, Meredith. Airplane, hands on hips. Feel your bones. Drop your left hip down. Good, Danielle. Mm hmm Yes, Natalie. Half moon. Left hand on left hip. Lifting up through your left hip and back towards your back body. Send your eyes up to the ceiling. Release. Good work, everyone. Dancer, right side. Begin hips even, squeeze hips in towards center line. And press your right toes up towards the ceiling. And then pull your right hip bone in towards center line, down and in towards your left inner thigh. Good, Meredith. Good, Allie. Yes, Natalie. Mm -hmm. Danielle, so good. Switch sides. Squeeze hips into center. Drop your left hip, Danielle. Yes. Yes, that. So good. Yes, Natalie. Good work. Switch sides. Second set. Yes, Allie, I see that work. I see that action. Mm -hmm. And take this for a five count. One, keep coming back to your hip bone. Two, three, good, Meredith. Four, five, change sides. Focus on your hip bones, where they are in space. One, two, Three, four, five, release. Tree pose, any variation of tree. Five count, one, two, three, four, five, change sides. One, two, three, four, five, extended mountain, fold, halfway lift, high to low, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot forward for triangle, hands to hips, point both hips towards the long left edge of your mat, Generous bend to both knees. And bring your right fingertips down to something. The block, the earth. Hips and shoulders in one plane. Good. And press your shoulder blades towards your back body. To lengthen from your head to your hips. Good, Natalie. Stand up, hands to hips. Right toes, point the long edge of your mat. Hands on hips, fold forward. Stand up, hands to hips, create pyramid pose. Take your thumbs to your hip bones, shoulder blades together on your back, thumbs to your hip bones, fold forward, and pull your hips to the back of your mat with your thumbs.
twisting triangle. Take your brick out farther in front than you usually do when you take twisting triangle. And squeeze your hips in. Hips squeeze into center line. One, two, three, four, vinyasa, high to low. Upward facing dog, down dog. Triangle, left foot forward, hands to hips, lift the front of your pelvis, bend your knees, create triangle. Good, Danielle. Mm -hmm. Right hip bone up and back towards your back body. Lift the front of your pelvis. Good, Allie. Breathe. So good, Natalie. Stand up. Left toes face the long edge of your mat. You can take the bind or not take the bind. Fold forward. Hands to hips, rise up. And create pyramid. Hands on hips. Guiding hips backwards. Spine long, fold. Twisting triangle, block, long out in front. Length of your spine. Good, Meredith. Mm -hmm, Allie. One, two. Yes, Natalie. Three, four. Breathe in. Vinyasa, breathe out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Come forward, high plank, lower down slow. Three, two, one. Arms back by your sides. Take an ear to your mat. Press your hip bones into the earth, into your mat. Feel that connection. Bone to mat. Locust pose, rise up. Press your hip bones down. Lift everything else up. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come down. Other ear down. Reconnect your hip bones to the earth. Rise up. Five. One, two, Three, four, five, release. Good work. Floor bow. Press your hip bones down, your hip bone down. And bring your feet in towards center line, knees in towards center line. Good, Allie. One, two, Three, four, five, lower down. Breathe in, good work, Meredith, breathe out. Second set, floor bow. Hip bones connect to the earth, rise up. 10, one, two, knees in towards center. Three, flex your feet, four, good. Allie, five, yes, Danielle, six, Seven, yes, Natalie. Eight, nine, ten, release. Upward facing dog. 
Downward facing dog. Camel. Hands to hip bones. Press your hips forward. Chest up and back. Any variation with your hands, five count. One, two, three, four, five. Sit on your heels. Camel. Recreate, reconnect to your hip bones. One, two, three, four, five. Sit on your heels. Bridge pose, come down to your back body. Lift your hip bones up, dig your heels down. Lower down to your mat. We have six more, six bridges, six wheels, a mix, half and half. You can go up and stay up. You can go up and come down. I invite you, if you're in bridge, to lift a leg and then dip your hips up and down and switch in and out of that. Rise up, number one, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up or come down, breathe. Breathe. Number two, bridge or wheel lift up. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, breathe out. Number three, bridge or wheel lift up. One, two, three, four, five. Come down, breathe in. Breathe out, rise up, bridge or wheel. Number four, one, two, three. If you're in wheel, soften your hips down towards your mat just a bit. Four, five, lower down. Breathe in, good, Natalie. Breathe out. Number five, rise up. I invite you to stay up. One, two, three, four, Five, soften your hips towards the ground. Breathe in, breathe out. Last one, one, two, three. Good, Danielle, four, five. Yes, Natalie, yes, Allie, yes, Meredith. Lower down, Supta Baddha Konasana. Take your hands to your hip bones and breathe. Happy baby. Press your sits bones down into the earth to widen your hips. And everybody grab your block. Grab your block and squeeze your block in between your shins. Any width. Press your legs up towards the ceiling. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Lower your legs down. Reach your arms up above your head. Open up. Bring your legs up. Grab the block. Pass the block to your hands. Lower your legs. Two. Keep changing. Three. We're going for ten. Three. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hug your knees in. Squeeze the block between your shins, extend your legs up towards the ceiling. You can switch the width if you would like a different experience. Bring your hands underneath your tailbone for 30, 60 legs. Squeeze that block. Lower your legs 30, 60. Cover your feet, look at your toes. Squeeze that block, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs up, head down. Good work, everyone. Lower your legs 30. 60. Hover your feet, look at your toes. Rock the block from side to side. 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, head down, legs up, lower down, thirty, sixty, hover your feet, see your beautiful toes, one, two, three, four, spread your toes, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, head down, legs up, pull your knees into your chest, rock from side to side, Set the block off to the side, but keep it close by. Abdominal twists. Interlace your hands at the nape of your neck and send your armpit towards your alternating knee. Elbows wide, and you go. We're going for 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Hug your knees in. Rock from side to side. Take the block in between your hands. Wide width. Wide width, the widest width between your hands, and come up to high boat. High boat. Set your eyes on the block. Set the block to the right. Twist to the right. Back to center. To the left. Back to center. To the right. Center. Left. Center. Five, four, three, two, one. One, release, downward facing dog. Good work, good work, good work everyone. Downward facing dog to half pigeon. And if your right hip is really high off the ground, wedge a block underneath it. Wedge a block to have your hip bone, your sit bone ground into something. And press your hip bone into that block. Downward facing dog.
Bring your thumb tips to touch at the top of your mat. Thumb tips to touch. Lift your right leg high behind you. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand for lizard pose. You can stay on your hands. You can come down to your forearms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can drop your back knee. Chin out of your chest. Put your attention on your hips. Downward facing dog. Half pigeon left side. Downward facing dog. Bring your hands together on your mat. Touch your thumbs together at the top of your mat. Good, Allie. Left leg lifts high. Step it forward outside your left pinky finger mm -hmm. for lizard pose. Any variation, knee up, knee down, hands, forearms, blocks. Put your attention on your hips. Downward facing dog. And come down to your knees and then a seat and take double pigeon, either shin on top. And stacking your shins. Or seated figure four. And take your top ankle bone to the outside of your bottom knee. Outside. Top ankle bone to the outside, yes. Feel that in your hip bones, right there, yes. Top angle to the outside, good, everyone. Switch sides.
frog pose. And once you've gotten into frog, lift the front of your pelvis. Forearms down, bring your head down to something, your hands, the block, the earth. Sixty seconds. Fifteen seconds. And come out of frog and bring your legs together behind you on the earth. Belly down, legs together behind you. Press your hips into the earth. Seated single leg extension. Sit up, right leg out, left leg in. Fold forward. Change sides. Seated forward fold. Reverse tabletop. One, two, three, 
four, five, fish pose. Release out of fish and choose your inversion. Waterfall, take a block under your tailbone, legs up to the ceiling, headstand on your mat, at the wall, shoulder stand, go upside down. Create Sadasana with your feet wherever you are. So pull your toes towards your kneecaps, Sally. Yes, big toes in towards center line, good. Yes, Meredith. Yes, Natalie. And I admit I'm not the most patient person. I can get totally locked into my expectation of how I think things should go or ought to be. But when I do that, I realize I've lost sight of the bigger picture. And I have a quote from Maya Angelou. Do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. 60 more seconds in your inversion practice. Shoulder stand, bring your toes to the earth for plow. Bend your knees by your ears for ear pinning pose. Headstanders use the next five breaths to slowly pike down. Child's pose. Ear pinning pose slowly come down full body stretch from fingertips to toe tips. Slowly come down to your back. And everyone make your way onto your back and take a supine twist to the right, to the left. to the center, take Supta Baddha Konasana. Take your hands to your hip bones one more time for this evening. Feel your glorious hip bones under your fingers. And make your way to your Shavasana, any variation.
deepen your breath. Roll to your right hand side and slowly press yourself up to an easy seated position at the top of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center. And we'll seal the container of this evening's practice with three ohms. Oh. thumb knuckles to your forehead center and together we bow and thank you so much for coming I invite you to have patience for yourself as you navigate through whatever your experiences are this week have patience with yourself and give yourself a big round of applause so much good work happened right here in the four corners of everyone's mat <laughs>